So back in our toolbar on the right, we have the Titles browser. It's the uh, what one, two, three, four, fifth button from the right. It's the big T icon. If you click on that, you then get the all of the titles. Um, if you don't have it selected, you can select all at the top, and it will show you all titles and all categories. Uh, for instance, we can click on basic lower third. If you click on it, it will give you the preview of what that looks like. It has two text fields, one for name, one for description. So you could put in, say, your anchor's name, you know, Justin Phillips, and then, you know, awesome cool guy would be my description. Thank you. <laughs> um, so how do we add this title? So even though this looks like there's black here, it's really not black. It's actually transparent. OK? So if I click and I drag this title, and I drop it like a connected clip, right? You'll notice, well, it's kind of hard on this clip because of the, all the white back here, but my title shows up. So it's not really black. It's just actually transparent. Uh, they just put black on that background so you can see what just the title looks like. You know? Um, all right, so let's adjust some parameters. Let's show you how to do some text on here. Let's, uh, let me zoom in so we can see. Now in our inspector, with the title selected, right, our inspector has changed. Not only do we get the video tab, our audio tab is gone. Why is that? Well, because our title doesn't have audio, right? Uh, but now we have two extra ones. We have a title and a text. So let's go to the first one, see what that's all about. OK, so we're on the title one, and it says published parameters. If I go to hide, Hmm, that's interesting. There's nothing there. That's because there are no major parameters for this title that we chose. All it is is just simple text. Okay. Some titles that you pick down there will have other options to them. Uh, really important options, like you can change the background of the title. You can change the fill of the title. All that will be in this uh, title tab. So let's click on the text tab. Now, any text that we click over here, this will update for us. So for instance, if I click on the name text, that gives us the options to type in what our name is going to be, right? So I can come over here and I can type in, you know, Justin or John Force, that's, our, that's the guy's name. OK. Let's, let's highlight his name real quick. So to do that, I just click and drag my mouse over his whole name, his whole title, to highlight everything. The reason I'm highlighting it is because I'm going to adjust some of these parameters, and it only adjusts what is highlighted. For instance, if I were to just highlight force and I made the size instead of 66, I made it 166, right? It would be John Force, right? But I'm going to do the whole title. So I'm going to select it. And again, we can drag that size parameter. We can make it as large as we want or as small as we want. I'll just put in here 150, make it even. We can, uh, if you click on the, you can change the font if you don't like uh, Helvetica Nye <laughs> or regular. You can click on that and select whatever you want. Like you can make his name bold. That way it pops out a little bit more. You can do all kinds of styling options. Um, one thing is the contrast between the title and the background is very poor here. 
it's hard to read his name because the white text and the, the white background. One simple way to alleviate that is just turn on a drop shadow. And that kind of makes his name pop out more. If you click the show button next to the drop shadow, you can see its parameters, right? So you could, um, you could make the opacity darker if you wanted. You can change the distance of it, all kinds of stuff to make it pop out more. And one thing I didn't show you yet, but to the left of drop shadow, there's a little blue box. That means that this effect is on, OK? So the other effects, like, for instance, outline and glow, they're not on. They don't have a blue box next to it. So I can actually poke out that blue box and turn that effect off if I don't like it. Or I can turn it on. Or I can use it to evaluate to see if it's really changing anything. Can I read it better with that on or off? All right, so let's try another parameter here. Let's, um, let's do an outline. So notice I go to show on outline so I can see its parameters. Remember, again, the show buttons are all on the right-hand side. They're just hidden. If you hover your mouse over it, it will appear. But wait a minute, I can't change anything. Why, why is that? Well, it's because the control is off, right? So if I turn it on, now I have access to all the parameters. And you can see now we have a red uh, outline around all of our text. And of course, I can go in there and change it. I can, you know, make the outline, you know, thicker, whatever I want to do. All right, so let's work on the description, right? So I'm going to click once on the description down in my viewer. So I'm clicking the actual words, single click description. And again, I get all my parameters over there. So who is John Forrest? He's a racer type guy. 